Farmer Gopi went to his field unhappily that day. Because even though it was summer, his field was still not yielding any crops. Oh, my field has not yielded any crops today either. What am I going to do now? If I can't deliver crops to the kingdom, I'm going to be in trouble. One day, just as Gopi was about to give up digging on his barren fields, his shovel hit a hard object. Huh? What's that? Hmm. As he continued digging, he realized that it was a pot. What's a pot doing in my field? And it's empty inside. Ugh. Gopi was very unhappy that he had spent so much effort with no reward. He dropped his hoe in the pot and lay under a tree to rest. After a while, when he wanted to take his hoe to return home, he realized that there were 100 more hoes in the pot. What? How can this happen? I only had one hoe. Gopi emptied the pot full of hoe, and this time put his shovel in it. But what is that? Another 100 shovels immediately appeared in the pot. Or is it this pot? A magic pot? Who would have thought? Gopi was both amazed and thrilled. He brought the pot straight back to his house. He excitedly tried a chicken egg in the pot and left it in the pot. Soon, the pot was overflowing with eggs. <laughs> I can't believe my eyes. Then he put his apple and bread in the pot. The magic pot gave Gopi hundreds of apples and bread. Now I don't have to deal with this barren field. I can sell these multiplied products in the kingdom market. Every day, Gopi took the pot's multiplied goods to the kingdom and tried a new product every day. One day clothes, the next day vegetables, and another day beans. Whatever he put in the magic pot, it multiplied. Other sellers were jealous of his success and complained about Gopi to a soldier of the king. The next day, the soldiers secretly followed Gopi. Gopi took the magic pot that morning and put a chick in the pot to sell at the kingdom market. A little later, hundreds of chicks came out of the pot. The soldier couldn't believe his eyes. With hundreds of chicks running around Gopi's house, one accidentally fell into the pot, producing another hundred chicks. Gopi even had a chick on his head, under his chair, and in his dinner plate. The soldier immediately went and told the king what he had seen. The king ordered that Gopi and his magic pot be brought to him immediately. Gopi went before the king, and the king confiscated the pot from him for the kingdom's treasure. Gopi was very upset. Let me take a closer look at this magic pot that will enrich my wealth. <laughs> the king approached the magic pot and bent down into it. My king, be careful, please. But just then, the king slipped. He could not keep his balance and fell right into the pot. No, the king has fallen into the cauldron. Oh! In just a few minutes, 100 more of the king had formed in the hall. The soldiers were confused about who to obey. Kings were fighting each other for the throne, each claiming to be the real king. I am the real king. No, it's me, the real king. No, I am the real king. Shut up. I am the king. When Gopi realized how dangerous the magic pot could be, he sneaked out of the palace during the confusion and took his pot with him. He went straight to a cliff and
and threw the magic pot off the cliff. The pot disintegrated into pieces and disappeared. From that day on, Gopi's field began to grow crops once again. And Gopi understood that the land became fertile not by magic, but by labor. And he lived in wealth forever. Forever.